In March, the Arctic Ocean and surrounding seas recorded a low maximum extent, with rapid ice loss continuing through May. While this rate of ice loss would have been considered extreme 10 years ago, NASA now says it's kind of used to these low levels of sea ice and it should be considered the new normal. The space agency is now preparing a new method to measure the thickness of sea ice, in the hopes of better understanding the changes in the Arctic. While this year's ice melt was rapid through May, it slowed down in June, which NASA says suggests that it is unlikely that this year's summertime sea ice melt will set a new record. Dr. Walt Meyer, a sea ice scientist at NASA, said, even when it's likely that we won't have a record low, the sea ice is not showing any kind of recovery. It's still in a continued decline over the long term. It's just not going to be as extreme as other years because the weather conditions in the Arctic were not as extreme as in other years. If this year's sea ice extent had occurred 10 years ago, it would have set a new record low. However, Dr. Meyer added, now, we're kind of used to these low levels of sea ice, it's the new normal. While the rate of ice loss slowed down in June, it has picked up again in August, and is now greater than average for this time of year. A strong cyclone is also moving through the Arctic, which could further accelerate the loss of ice. Dr. Meyer said, this year is a great case study in showing how important the weather conditions are during the summer, especially in June and July, when you have 24 hours of sunlight and the sun is high in the sky in the Arctic. If you get the right atmospheric conditions during those two months, they can really accelerate the ice loss. If you don't, they can slow down any melting momentum you had. So our predictive ability in May of the September minimum is limited, because the sea ice cover is so sensitive to the early to mid-summer atmospheric conditions, and you can't foresee summer weather. To help scientists forecast the Arctic sea ice loss, NASA is now preparing for a new method to measure the thickness of sea ice from space. Currently, research vessels or submarines are used to measure ice thickness directly, but satellites have not been able to provide a complete look, as the salty water interferes with the radar. The new method, called the ICE, Cloud and Land Elevation Satellite 2 or ICESAT-2, will instead use lasers to try to estimate sea ice thickness, from 2018. Horse and Marcus, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Maryland said, if we want to estimate mass changes of sea ice, or increased melting, we need the sea ice thickness. It's critically important to understanding the changes in the Arctic, 